Welcome to part 6 of the complete guide to starting a website. This is our last video and it's going to show you how to create content for your website. So we head back to our website and if you remember we have the Nova theme from Elegant Themes and we've already got it installed and we put in some dummy information just to give us the basic framework. So we've got a nice menu across the top, we've got these three image sliders here to show our featured content and then down below we have our three featured pages that give a little summary and then if a user is looking for our blog they follow it through the menu and then we have all of our blog posts so the first thing I want to do to make this a little easier I'm gonna change our home page so we're gonna get rid of these three pages at the bottom and we're gonna put our blog posts here and that's gonna make the process of showing you how to set this up a little bit easier so we're going to head back to our dashboard and to appearance and we went to the Nova theme options this is specific for the theme we have and we're going to go into this a little bit more towards the end of the video but all I want to do right now is come down to where it says blog style post format and then enable that click save and then when we go back to our website so the top is all the same but as we scroll down now you'll see all of our blog posts are here in order and now we have a right sidebar here I like the looks of this for this particular website a little bit better so we're going to talk about two different things here we're going to talk about some Nova theme specific features like the one we just did and we're going to talk about general WordPress themes and that's what we'll start with so we're going to go back to our dashboard and there's two major things. The most important thing you need to know about WordPress is the difference between posts and pages. So a page, as we go back to our website, is what shows up across the top in your menu bar. And this is more static content. So it's, paid, it's things that you want people to be able to find all the time. And right now this is just sample data, but these are static pages whereas a post is what shows up in our blog feed and the posts are dynamic this list is always going to change and it's in reverse chronological order so the newest post is going to be first and then as you scroll down they get older and older so that keeps your new more relevant content right to the front so the user can find it easily so let's say we want to add a new page to our menu here. Let's, let's say we want to add a frequently asked questions page. So we're going to go back to our dashboard. We're going to go to pages, add new. We're going to call this FAQ. So this is where you make all of your new pages. The pages and the posts layout looks pretty much the same in WordPress, but you're under pages, you're adding a new page, we're going to title the page FAQ and then we're going to put in our information. So here are our FAQs and then we're going to make a list here. There's question, there's another question, and another question. Now, just a moment here. There's two main ways you can put your content in. Right now we're under the visual tab so that you're just typing away here. What you see is what you're going to get you can change bold in this case let's take our three questions and put them into an ordered list that was easy we can align them to the left we can center them we can align them to the right there's a lot of things you can do here I won't go through all of it you can change the text color underline bold then your other option here is the HTML so if you know a little bit of code you see that quickly changed what what we have here we have an, an ordered list and it's listed out here for us so without having to know the code we just typed it in and this is what WordPress is seeing so you can edit in HTML if you know HTML and you see you got a, a lot of different options up here or I like to stick in the with the visuals so you know what you're gonna get now because we have the Nova theme installed we get some additional options down here if we wanted to feature this page if we wanted to show up in that three picture slideshow at the beginning that big header we click there and if we were keeping those three pages at the bottom that we saw in the beginning and we wanted this to be one we would click that 
and there's some additional options we won't go into all of them right now now you're not done yet so you have two options here typically I'll save a draft and preview but for the sake of time we're gonna go straight to publish when you click publish this is gonna add it right to your website so we just published and then we're gonna go back to our website and you'll see now we have a frequently asked questions tab in our menu so we click there and there we go frequently asked questions and you listed them all out there so let's switch from pages to posts now so we're going to go back to our dashboard we're going to instead of pages go to posts and let's see what we have for posts so we have a lot again these are all filled in um, through the sample data we had in that earlier video and we're going to go up and add a new post so we're going to call this new post and I'm just going to type some gibberish here <clears throat> we can add pictures if we wanted to we can we could make that a link if we wanted to we can link to a certain page um, there's a lot you can do I won't go into every detail one important thing though is when you're creating a post you want to select what category it's going to go into so categories can be adjusted under the post you can make new categories these are the ones we have right now so we want this to be in the blog category and we could feature this post if we wanted to just like we could feature a page and again you could preview we're just going to click publish and then let's go back to our site now when we scroll back down we see our new post came in here it's got the gibberish that we wrote if it were longer it'd cut that off and you'd have to click read more to read the rest of it um, like the lower post we could have added a picture if we wanted to a thumbnail but we wanted to save some time in showing you how to do it so that's how you add a new post again it's always going to come to the top of your blog list so let's come back up the other thing we want to look at is menus so we had this menu when we created our FAQ page it popped up under here now what if we didn't want that to be part of our navigation let's go back to the dashboard and there's two options here the first is to go to menus so go appearance and then menus and now you can make a custom menu here so that's how you do it with most WordPress themes with Nova theme it's a lot easier than that so we're gonna click on Nova theme options we're gonna click on the navigation tab and then let's say let's take out the who I am and the and the sample page come to the bottom and click save we'll go back to our website and now you'll see the who I am and the sample page is no longer in our list it's still on our site it's just not up there in the navigation bar now through the menu the custom menus through WordPress you could add additional titles here but with the Nova theme it's easier to just make a page and it pops right in if you don't like it you unclick it and it's gone so the other thing we'd like to adjust on our page is this right sidebar we have so right now we have our recent comments and we have our metadata so how do we change that so you go up to the dashboard and then we click on widgets which is under appearance and then these are the two things that are currently in our sidebar recent comments and metadata let's take out the metadata let's keep the recent comments in there and let's put in recent posts so we're going to take our recent posts drag that over give it a title let's just call it recent posts and we'll keep five posts shown there and click save and then you'll notice there's a few features here that have the ET which stands for elegant themes and these are custom widgets that are available just because we have this theme installed so let's use one of those we're going to use the about me widget we drag it over we'll keep the title the same we could add an image of ourselves if we wanted to we're going to put a, a, we could put a paragraph or something here I'm just going to put a couple lines and a little bit of gibberish and click save 
Then we're going to go back to our website. Scroll down. We still have our recent comments. Now we have recent posts. And we have about me. And I didn't put an image in there. It's showing the little empty image sign. So I guess I should have. Um, but it's got our little blurb there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So we've, ta we've tackled pages, posts, menus, and widgets. One other thing I'm not going to get into detail here, but you should know about is plugins. So plugins are programs essentially that give WordPress additional function. So I have an all-in-one SEO pack. Um, there's tons of different things you can look at. You can look for image rotators. You can look for ad um, advertisement displays. There's a a ton of different things. You can search just like you search for a theme and then all you have to do is activate it and then each of these has its own little instructions for setting it up. I'm not going to get into that right now um, but I do want to talk about the Nova theme for a minute. So we're going to go to the Nova theme options and with Elegant Themes you get this E panel. So under each tab there's a few tabs that we can change. So let's put a logo in here. So we're going to upload an image and when we upload an image, basically we're taking a file from our computer and storing it in the library on our website. So let's find a file. And we found a file that's going to upload. Now for a logo, this file is pretty big. It's got a title. You can change all that stuff if you want to. Um, here's the link. So now instead of it being on our computer, you can find it has its own URL on our website and I want to make it smaller so the full size would be too big for a logo but 300 pixels by 113 that sounds okay and with elegant themes I have this option just click use for logo so let's do that and you can see it put that long description of where the image is now we're gonna come down to the bottom click save and then let's go back to our site and there we go, that Nova logo is gone. We've got our Learn How to Start a Website logo in there. We've still got our pages. You'll notice those slid over a little bit. Um, another unique feature about Nova is it's a dynamic layout, which means if you're on a smaller image, a smaller screen, it will shrink. If you're on a mobile device, it will shrink. So if I grab the sidebar and shrink it over, you'll see the content is modified so it started it shrunk down that image so it could fit and as soon as it gets too shrunk it starts to layer it over the top my navigation menu is now one small tab that will expand out it dropped down to just the images and then all my posts were kinda of shrunken down I lost my right sidebar but that's not important the user on their phone still has a pretty good experience so let's go back out to our normal size so we're back to our normal size there and we changed our logo let's see what else we can change just quickly so let's change one of these let's put in our own picture here let's change this around so we're gonna go in what I suggest you do when you're first getting started especially if you've used sample data is play around go look at the posts see what they look like and modify them and, and learn that way so this post it looks very different there this is the post but it has all that extra data that's showing up there in that featured slider so our, po our post is called umbrella rides the wind let's go back to our dashboard we'll go to posts we're going to click on edit umbrella rides the wind and now you see this already has some data in there so this is what showed up when we clicked on it and went to the actual post the titles there we scroll down you see this is set for the feature so it's set for an image on the left and if we wanted we can make that a video by putting the link there and let, let's change what's written there so so we changed our title now it's going to say save 25 percent off hostgator we changed the second line with the coupon code hgator sale and then the button text, we've changed that to say save 25%, start today. Now we want to add a custom link. If we don't add a custom link, when they hit on the button, they're going to just go to the post. But we want them to go through an affiliate link to HostGator. So we're going to put that link in. 
and then we're going to scroll down we want to change our image so you'll see thumbnail and you'll see that URL here so I copied I've already uploaded a different picture I'd like to use to the media library I copied that URL I'm going to paste that here and then I'm going to come up and click update now let's go check out our site and now we've got a nice image 25% off HostGator, say 25% off HostGator with the coupon code HGATORSALE. If they click on my link, it's going to go right through to my affiliate link and redirect them to HostGator so they can save 25% and I can earn a commission. Now you can do the same thing by putting a video here. You can have just text here like their other option shows. So this next one shows a video. This last one just shows text. And you can change it to whatever you'd like, you can change the button to say what you'd like, and you can choose how many things you want to have here. If you only have two, then only select two as featured. So I don't have time to go into all the details of everything that you can do, especially with this theme, but my best recommendation is put in the sample data and kind of reverse engineer to see where their posts are posted, what they look like, so you can take a post like that and change it to your own to look something like this and I think you've got enough to get the ball rolling so thank you for watching this entire video series if you found it helpful please take the time to comment rate and subscribe to my channel uh, it's especially helpful for you guys to rate every video in the series especially the first one uh, to get that first one out there so more people can find it and uh, start a website just like you're gonna do so again thanks for watching